Yes, she's a Food Network star. She's a best-selling New York Times author and the mother of four to top it all off. And her latest I'm cookbook is called Supermarket Healthy. Please welcome back to our kitchen, Melissa D. Arabian. Uh -huh. Good Yay. to have you here. Thank you. And so you're going to be making from your cookbook a Southwestern chicken salad today. But before we get started, I just want to share with our viewers some of the beautiful photographs that are in your cookbook. Oh, so great. So let's yeah. take a look at a few of them right here and you can explain it to us as it comes up. Oh, right. Okay. Well, there's the Southwest the salad chicken we'll salad, today. which we'll make today. Oh, that's one of my favorites. That's the herb salmon salad, where I use canned salmon, which oh. is actually a really great ingredient to have around, believe it or not. It's so oh, healthy. And, yep, the kale mm -hmm. Caesar in a jar, and I use um, white beans for the protein there. So oh. that's a great kale take to Caesar. work. Oh, okay. item. I just had to do that. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. All right. Do you know, do you know, Everybody does. I know it's how okay. long ago I made that recipe, and I have never, ever done the kale season. Well, there you go. It was the first time right here. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Well, yeah. this is a perfect salad for summer. You know what it is, and I think that um, summer is a perfect time to entertain with salads, and I think right. salads are a great way to save money when you're entertaining. I love that. Both things are great. Do we have a salad? Are they going to come out of the kitchen with I some salad? I'd love so when they do. Far. Please That's ask. That's the only reason why I'm yeah. here. Yeah. Okay. Really well, we're going to bring up the salads for everyone in a moment. And in the meantime, if you could start showing us how to do this. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm going to start by cooking up um, two boneless, skinless chicken breasts, which again. You can hear that, you know, two chicken breasts for a salad that's going to serve four people. This is a money saver. If you are entertaining and you have just like steak and then you have extra people show up, if you don't have more steak, well, then you don't have enough food. Yes, bring it in, please. Bring it in. This but is great. With this salad, you're going to get a lot of mileage by stretching your expensive ingredient with your inexpensive ingredients. Bit. Yeah. Sorry about that. Oh, that's all right. Oh, no, it'll, it'll, it'll heat up. Thank yeah. you. Sean. You know, I'll tell you what, you could even use leftover chicken. Or like rotisserie yeah, chicken. Yeah, rotisserie chicken yeah. is good. Yeah, this is a great market. use for that. Okay. I'm going to take this so from here. And like, oh, yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. That's what you do. Yes, bon appetit. Please go ahead and please right. enjoy. Okay, you don't get a salad. Oh, and you have a little bit of lime there. You can squeeze that on top, oh, too. Yeah. Does um, anybody know what lime it is? Oh. <laughs> All right, obvious question. Ah, <laughs> uh, you can, can use shrimp, uh, salmon. You can use whatever protein you have around. And by stretching, um, I'm using, you know, I've got the chicken, but I'm stretching my meat protein with inexpensive protein such as black beans. Love it. Love and it. then I've also got corn and, you know, obviously greens, a lot less expensive than the meat. Mm. So you can feed a lot of people oh, for not a lot of money. Really so good. good. So yeah. like salty Very and tangy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it has that, do you taste the smokiness? from right. the paprika. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, your, that's your secret ingredient, that's right? Secret now, ingredient. why is yes. paprika really your secret ingredient? Well, the smoked paprika. Do you have smoked paprika? Yeah, of course I do. You, of course yeah. you do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you guys have smoked paprika in yeah. your cupboards? Well, get it. It's regular. No. You're going to want to have it because smoked paprika brings in that smoky flavor oh. for no calories. So this salad, uh, even in a bigger portion than what you have, is 365 calories. Mm. So yet it has a lot of depth of flavor from that smoked paprika. And let me show you how to make the dressing. It's yeah. really easy. Not a lot of ingredients, mm -hmm. just some red wine vinegar, and then the famous smoked paprika, mm -hmm. which can go into everything from tuna salads to um, to omelets to anything. It's really great. Mm -hmm. A little bit of garlic. There we go. We'll just do that. Some oregano, salt and pepper, and then I'm just going to put in my olive oil. Just olive whisk oil. it up. Right. There we go. Okay. That's and it, it makes it so yeah. It's really simple. You and then it adds some flavor. It. And I I have a tip actually. For you, Mark. Uh oh. Because uh -oh. I think you're like me. You like bacon, don't you? Oh, oh please. <laughs> right? Oh, like you know yeah. Bacon so makes everything yeah. better. This yeah. I've been going through therapy for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Away from. The I'm bacon. going to. Uh, I'm going to save you a lot of money in therapy. Um, when I have, when I want to put bacon in a recipe, I want to put in a ton. However, if you cut the bacon in almost any recipe in half and then add smoked paprika, mm -hmm. each little bit of bacon is gonna have much more punch. So you're gonna get a lot more mileage and so then you don't embarrass yourself by having like 92 slices of bacon like <laughs> on your BLT. Just put a little smoked paprika in your mayonnaise <laughs> and you're good to go. You know how long it took me to get down to 92 slices? <laughs> yeah, you know what? I've been working. I'm gonna get you to 46 by okay. the end of the episode. Okay. <laughs> so let me show you, it's really easy to put the salad together and we have it here on a little tray. You saw, you can do it like in a jar 
jar, like a mason jar if you're taking it to work. But I like, I like putting mm -hmm. salads out on a tray for entertaining because you can do it in advance. It looks so pretty. And it looks it's so inviting. pretty. You just layer all this stuff. Oh, here we go. Thank yeah. you. You know what? I need someone like you in my house. I will come live with you. <laughs> yeah, you know I what? I will. You, you know what? I already have four girls. What's, uh, I love what's girls. one more? I have too many is, girls in my is family. Is spinach I the best be uh, uh, bed to put this on? It doesn't matter what. You know, um, I'm using spinach because I think that um, I like the extra um, fiber and I like the extra. You get a little bit more protein and mm -hmm. some more um, vitamins when you have a darker green. Yeah. I, so a little bit more iron. Mm -hmm. So the rule is in general, the darker the green, the better. Okay. So but you could use kale, you could use spinach greens, you could use, you could even use mustard greens, but you want to chop them finely because they're a little bit. Yeah. You know, heartier. Yeah. So, you know what, for you, I'm going to say stick with the baby spinach. Yeah, I think I, that's really no, as I far really as like, we should plan on you yeah. going. And my, my girlfriend, <laughs> Olive Oil, likes it too. So, oh, yeah. so <laughs> I. <laughs> Like, oh, that uh, was funny. Yeah, that, oh, I'm going to tell yeah. her you called her that. Yeah, you know what? I don't know if Julie's going to like that. <laughs> All right, there we go. A little bit of corn. That's actually a lot of corn. Um, but you know what? You can bulk up the inexpensive ingredients if yeah. you have extra people show up. So a little bit Look of how colorful tomato, some carrots. Whoa. This is getting, see how high this is getting? Okay. Let's add in the chicken. Let me move this out of the way. There we go. So you can cut it up. Perfect. Now, this chicken, I'm just going to flip it because I just don't want it to burn here. You know, five or six minutes per side. Don't overcook your boneless, skinless chicken. That's the biggest mistake people make. I always make the mistake. That I, always, I do because I'm afraid I'm not going to cook it enough. Yeah, you're afraid. You know what you need to do? You need to spend five dollars for a little meat thermometer. It is going to be the best thing you That's ever do. That's right, Mark. Yeah. Oh. That's right. No, I'm just telling you. Five dollars and your problem is solved. You spend five dollars on more bacon. Yeah. <laughs> or five dollars on smoked paprika and you won't have to. <laughs> okay. You know, I don't I don't mean to make this the Mark and Melissa show, but you know, those are fighting words. Oh, she's yeah. You have four kids that you have to battle with, so I'm, I'm gonna lose no matter what. Yeah, you know what? I'm used to this. I can I can do this all day, Mark Stein is. Okay. So you cut it in thin slices? Yeah, I just cut it in thin slices and then you can fan it out. It's a, there we go. Beautiful. There we go. It's a little bit messy here, you but you like know what? Mm -hmm. Isn't it good? Delicious. All right. So Easy good. peasy here. We're no. so great. All right. You want to go ahead and start to, uh, you know what? Let's do this. Voila. You can pour some of that dressing over it. There we go. And if you get more gas, you know what you do? Just put on more black beans. Everyone gets a bite or two less of chicken. I can. Who cares? Yeah. I can see 